Hi friends, I am Dr. Sahul Bharti from alphabetastats.com. In my previous video, I have already explained how to import Excel data into our studio and run various commands using a script file. Now in this video today, I am going to demystify the use of ggplot2, a package which is used for visualizing data and I am going to provide you with some very handy tips for plotting a histogram in R studio. Let us first have a look at our hypothetical data which is there in the Excel spreadsheet. It is about the water quality where we have pH measurements of various water samples taken from at least four different lakes every monthly for a period of 12 months. Now once data set is imported in R studio, we need to install only once the package ggplot2 by command install.packages with ggplot2 in inverted commas and within parentheses. And once it is installed, we need to load the package every time we start a new session in R using a command library ggplot2 in parentheses. Now we are going to draw a simple histogram of pH values of serially measured lake water for an year. The most basic command for drawing a histogram is, which is given here. In this command which is written here, what we have uh, generated is we have named our plot as pH1 using a package ggplot from a data set which is named WQ data. And our aim is to beautify aesthetically the values of pH measured over different water samples from different lakes and a geometric shape of our desired plot will be a histogram. So this is the simplest and the basic command for generating a histogram. To view the histo, once we run this command, we just select the, this part only and once we run this command, sorry we have not just uploaded the ggplot, so we first need to run this command library ggplot2. So once this command is accepted, now we are going to, R is ready to accept our next command for histogram. So we run this command. So we can see in the console window, R's pro new prompt has appeared, indicating that it has nicely accepted our command. But we, in the plot window, we don't see any plot. It is just because we need to run a second command, naming the plot, run the second command using the plot name, which is ph1. So for the ease of uh, use, we have just appended the second command ph1 using a semicolon colon in after the first command. So we just select the second command. We can run the both commands together, but here I am showing you separately. So once we run the command, we get a histogram on our plot pen of the R studio. But if we look at uh, this plot, the arrangement of uh, the bins of histograms uh, seems unregulated and disorganized. We can even specify the width of the bin of our own choice. So in this command, which I've repeated here, I have selected a bin width equal to one unit of pH. And if we run this command again, let us see what happens. So you can see the histogram appears more organized and better symmetrically shaped. So bin width can be changed depending upon the range of values we have for our uh, outcome and the number of uh, bins which are deemed necessary for a good visualization of data. So after this, but still the graph looks little unattractive. We can optimize the look of the graph by using some more commands. So in the geometric histogram, we are going to add, we need to color the border black and fill the inside of bins with a gray color, keeping the bin width same as one unit. And then we are going to run this whole command again. So now we added some uh, color aesthetics to the histogram. The bins are clearly bordered as black with the inside of bins filled with gray color and no histogram looks uh, attractive and more uh, easily interpretable. 
but if you look carefully on the y axis on the y axis we have the count of water samples so the count means the number of water samples within a given a range of pH in a bin. So, that is plotted on the y axis, but we can change the counts to density by using another command which is highlighted here. So, in this command if you can look in the geom histo geom underscore histogram. So, we have added another syntax starting with aesthetics and then y is equal to dot dot density dot dot within parenthesis again the color fill and the bin width remains the same and plus we have so we if we run this command only and see what happens so let us run this command oh sorry this is so we just need to delete this we need to put a parenthesis on this and run this command. So, let us see what is our plot looks like. We run the plot. So, we can see the count on the y axis has been replaced by a density. Density is nothing but the percentage of water samples having a pH within the given range of bin, which is represented on a decimal fraction scale. So, we can have the counts or the actual frequency of the water samples or we can have the density or the percentage of water samples having a pH in a given range. We can even add a normal curve distribution line on the superimposing on this histogram. So, for that we need just to run, we need to add another geometric object in the form of geometric geom, geom underscore density. We can specify the color of that line as black and the size as 1.5. So, if we select the whole command and run it, so we can see that a normal curve will be superimposed on the histogram like this. So, the size and the color of the normal curve can be changed using different colors and different numeric values on in this command. But now the next challenge is customizing the plot background to our own specifications. So, normally the plot generated so far has a gray background and major and minor grid lines which are visible on our window pane. So, if we need to remove these for publication purposes, we need to add some more commands and these commands include, suppose we write the name of our plot ph1. And in our theme, if we look at this command, we are going to tell that panel dot grid dot minor, panel grid dot dot grid dot major, as well as panel dot background. All these elements need to be blank, and they are followed by parenthesis, empty parenthesis. So once we run this command, let us see. We let us run this command. So there is. Uh, there is an uh, unexpected, uh, so actually we need to select this whole command and run. So, we can see that all the grid lines have disappeared, the background has also uh, become white, but you can notice that the there is no x axis and y axis line. So, to add those x axis and y line there is another command which is mentioned here. So, in that we need to mention x axis line, the element of interest is line, we need we can color it, we can size it. Similarly, for y element the axis line dot y, we need the interest is in the element of line element which can be colored and sized according to our convenience and we can run this command. So, if we run the command we can see that in the histogram a good bright black uh, axis on y as well as x has appeared. So, we can run these two commands simultaneously using the command syntax which I have highlighted, I am highlighting here. So, instead of writing two commands separately, we can remove the grid lines minor, major and the panel background. At the same time, we can add x axis and y axis uh, lines in the same command. But 
when beginner uh, writing so much of syntax may seems uh, a bit uh, difficult and overwhelming so there is a shortcut and we can avoid writing all these things and we can get a publication quality histograms so let us first have our basic histogram which we have shown earlier so let us run this command so this is the histogram with the uh, gray background and grid lines available with no axis on x and y axis so there is a very excellent uh, package which is known as cowplot which is mentioned here we need to install that cowplot which i have already done then we need to load it for the present session using a command library cowplot i am going to run it once i run it no if i repeat my command which i have already done here so if we run this command let us see what happens so see with just with simple command of library cowplot our axis on y and x axis have appeared our background has become white grid lines have disappeared so we can quickly get a publication quality graph no if you need uh, there are certain uh, still some syntax left to learn and practice if we are keen to add some graph title here or we change the labels of x axis and y axis or we are going to change the font size or the type of the font used for labeling x and y axis so suppose we want to add so this is the command for adding ph1 is the plot uh, name we can add gg title with the name of the plot within the inverted commas we can add labels for our x axis and y axis again within the inverted commas and we can run this command so see the title has appeared the labels uh, titles axis and y axis titles have changed there are certain more commands if we can also change the size and the color of the x axis and y axis using these commands we can change the font type and the font size of the axis titles again using these two commands and we can even change the size font size and the angle or of orientation of these values on x axis or y axis using these commands which are highlighted here which start with a theme and then these commands in the parenthesis so we all these commands like gg title labels and changes in x axis and y axis they can be run together as i have shown the complete command is shown here finally one small thing which is left that we can even manipulate and customize the range of values which are being shown on the x axis as well as on the y axis <coughs> excuse me uh, using a simple command scale underscore x underscore continuous and then breaks on the x axis with a sequence of minimum value 0 maximum value 10 in our case and interval to be repeated at the interval of one unit so writing this command for x axis similarly we can add scale underscore y underscore continuous with breaks on the y axis with a minimum value of 0 maximum value of 7 and to be repeated at the interval of 1 so if we run this command